Uh, when this began, we beefed up our bylaw department with 10 new bylaw officers, and they continue to protect the safety of the public. And I want to mention a few notable cases from the last uh, week. Um, there was complaints that were coming in about a cannabis, an illegal cannabis dispensary that was operating, that was busy um, and causing a potential risk uh, of the spread of the COVID-19 virus. On Tuesday, April 22nd, uh, the investigation culminated in a search warrant being executed by the Peel Regional Police under the Cannabis Control Act. During the investigation, bylaw enforcement officers charged four individuals under our Emergency Management and Civil Protection Act for failing to comply with the provincial order. Each individual was issued a ticket for $880. Over the last week, we've received over 375 complaints. There's been 4,728 proactive investigations. And so our bylaw officers are working 24 seven, making sure that the advice of public health is being followed. We've seen 111 warnings issued and 30 new charges. Um, so we take this very seriously. And some examples of the last week of the type of activity we've seen that have resulted in charges. Uh, people continuing to use uh, the, the dog park. We had individuals who were painting in a park that was closed. Um, and people continuing, con continuing to use park equipment. Um, we, there's also an incident where someone was selling produce from their vehicle in a parking lot, not once, but three times in two days. And now they're going to have to attend court to face charges for that. Uh, we cannot ignore the advice of public health and our bylaw officers will make sure those that are risking the safety of the rest of the community will face stiff financial penalties.